dinner is ready. This is where Zazu and Wally sit when I cook my little helpers in the kitchen. The dinner's ready and it's ready to be served. Okay, let's go eat. Today we're going to be eating Nepali food. So as you know, I'm from Nepal and we love Nepali dal bhat. So we've made that today. I'm going to tell you a little about what we're going to eat. Oh, Zazu, do you want some? Zazu and Wally love the smell of curry. So that's why they're behind me and kind of drooling a little bit. So we have some rice, that is pat, uh, chicken, that is masu, um, spinach, that's sag, dal that's lentils and atsar which is pickles so what we do is we're going to eat with our hands so the dal we put it on the rice i like to put it all at once some people like to put it little by little use our hands to eat it <laughs> they're very very interested in what i'm eating so i'm going to mix the dal and the rice the lentils and the rice and some chicken and the spinach and the pickles so we mix it all together with our hands and we kind of make a cup with our fingers and then push it with our thumb like that i don't make a lot of nepali food so it's once in a while and these take a long time and i love it Zazu and Wally also love the smell of curry, Nepali food, and they love momos. So one, maybe one day I can make momos. I can make a video on momos. So they say in Nepal that when you eat with your hands, you not only feed your body, but your mind and soul. So if you haven't tried it, you should, because it tastes really good if you eat with your hands. Just make sure to wash them before. Make sure not to get rice on the back of your fingers and your palm. If you're doing that correctly, you're eating like a Nepali. Hmm, it's yummy. There are lots of other kinds of dal or the lentils. <clears throat> mm, spicy. There's a real art to eating with your hands. You want some dal bath? Do you want some dal bhat? Do you want some dal bhat? Maybe I'll give them some like rice and dal. I'm gonna get some rice and dal. Just plain rice and dal for Zaz and Wally. Cause I see a lot of drool over here. Okay, I'll be back. Hold on. So I've got some rice and dal here. Just gonna mix it together. And, do you want some? The funny thing is Zazu and Wally, when I give something, give food to them with a spoon or a fork, they can't eat it. But somehow, when I feed them with my hands, they eat so well. Here we go. <laughs> I can literally feel Zazu's tongue. Like, it's so, he eats so softly. Good boy, Zazu. Yummy? They're like Nepali dogs. 100%. Here you go, Wally. You want some? Oh, <laughs> he's just starting to eat from the plate. Here. Yummy. Wally is even more gentle than Zazu. Good job. Here, Zaz. Okay. <laughs> he wants to get to the plate before my hands. Here you go. Oh, oh my God. No, Zazu. Can you stop being so lobby, greedy? Good job, Wally. You like it, huh? Zazu, you're eating my 
<laughs> okay. Last one for you. Oh. This Zazu is such a foodie. Here you go. This is the last one. Good job. That's it. You guys got a meal too. If you would like to watch more videos of Zazu and Wally, please subscribe to our channel and also hit that bell button.